OK, uh, so let's talk about the syllabus first. So let's open the PDF from the week one module. Uh, so I will host my uh, virtual office hours uh, by using the WebEx. So that means you have to install the WebEx app. Uh, there's an introduction video on week one module that talking about how to download WebEx and also how to install WebEx. So please check that one. And also there's also other uh, videos like uh, how to use AWS Educate. And there's also a link that how to download the Revit Miner. So please check both uh, URLs, all the videos. So to go to my, uh, to come to my uh, virtual office, you just click this URL. And that will bring the WebEx app so that we can talk with each other. So um, please come to my virtual office when you when your questions cannot be answered on Slack. Uh, my office hours will be starting from August 24th, uh, from Monday to Friday, uh, between 7 p.m. until uh, 8 p.m. OK, uh, so I will leave the answers, let you to read. Uh, but I do want to highlight our textbooks. So we have two textbooks. Uh, the first one is required. So uh, both are free. So if you click the URL, uh, you can see the this textbook. And this is talking about machine learning with Python. Um, so because we are not going to use Python a lot in this class, so you can ignore the Python part. You just need to understand uh, the concept of those machine learning models, but you don't need to try the Python part. Uh, however, if you are really interested in Python, uh, you can try those Python code. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, and you can try that one on AWS Educator. So that is our uh, first uh, textbook. Our second one is optional um, uh, because it is a little bit advanced. Um, it requires a lot of uh, knowledge of math. Uh, however, it's it's a great uh, textbook. So if you want to dive deep into machine learning, um, I highly recommend this textbook. Uh, again, it is also based on Python. OK. Uh, so if you are using JMU Wi-Fi, and there should be no problem of accessing those two textbooks. Uh, however, if you are using your own Wi-Fi, uh, you may need to check the GMU library first. So here, see that you can you can chat with the uh, staff, or you can see how to read the ebooks um, outside of the campus uh, library. Um, I'm now using my home. I'm not working from home, so I'm using my own laptop, and I can access uh, those books, those both textbooks with my home wi uh, home internet without any problem. So so those are the two textbooks. Um, again, uh, so make sure that you subscribe the notification on Canvas of this class, especially uh, subscribe the, the announcement. So I will send out announcement on Canvas and also on Slack. So make sure you check either of those. Um, so just in case I need to like something that I need to change, like the canceling class or something like that. So do make sure that you check Canvas and also Slack uh, regularly. Um, so this is my GitHub uh, website. Uh, so they, where you can find out some useful Python code for machine learning. Um, this is my YouTube tutorial. So where you can find out um, the tutorials about machine learning. So. Um, those are additional two websites. Um, uh, I know even you are working from home, I highly recommend using OneDrive. Uh, so uh, you can you can install OneDrive app on your own computers, um, and you can s store your data on OneDrive. So I still highly recommend using OneDrive. So office hours. Uh, so I would highly recommend using Slack as our top number one choice of as a communication ways uh, so that we we can get connected on slack uh, if as i said if you have questions that cannot be answered on slack you can come to my webex virtual office virtual office uh, during my office hours 
Uh, if you have some private issues like your grades, attendance, health issues, uh, please send me email. Okay. So do not, uh, for private issues, do, do not use Webex or Slack. Okay. Um, uh, this for this online class, uh, there are four components: online participants, online lectures, uh, class project, and also labs. So there will be some items that you are required to uh, finish in Slack, and those will account twenty percent of your total grades. So make sure that you check those assignments on Canvas and finish those actions. So most likely it will be like okay, so join Slack post a self-introduction, uh, something like that. Uh, online lectures, so there will be several online videos on Canvas, and there are embedded questions in those videos. So those questions are very easy, but you have to answer those questions, and you have to answer all the questions correctly, and then you can continue the following videos. Um, it's not hard questions, um, you can redo those questions anytime you like just make sure that you I just want to make sure that you you do watch the videos and also I will point out some important concept and you do understand those concepts we also have lab, weekly labs so that uh, you will finish some labs and also you will submit your reports on canvas for the online participants uh, lectures and also labs there are deadlines so make sure you submit everything before the deadline. Um, at the end of this semester, um, there will be a class final project. So I will give you a topic. And then you will collect your own data and you will um, conduct some machine learning models and also to uh, finish your project. So we are going to do that at the end of this uh, semester. So please do make sure that if you submit it late, you will receive a penalty that is five percent per week, and also no late submissions will be accepted in the final exam week. Okay, so either labs, online participants, or the video lectures, so they do have deadlines. Uh, you can resubmit your labs or your assignments anytime, multiple times before the deadline. However, if you submitted after the deadline, you will receive the late penalty. And you do have one chance to resubmit your labs or your assignments, uh, but you have to meet those follow, uh, following conditions so that you don't have any other resubmission before. Uh, your previous grade is less than 70, and also your resubmission will receive late penalty. Okay. Uh, for the final project, you can you don't have the chance to resubmit or late submission. So late submissions or resubmissions for your final project are are not accepted. Okay. Um, uh, so this is the schedule of this semester. Uh, so for the first week, just get familiar with uh, the tools. So download Rapid Miner. Uh, and also get familiar with AWS Educate, um, Slack, and also WebEx. Uh, and then we'll spend four weeks that we'll cover the basics of the statistics. Um, so we'll review the statistics that you have learned because one part of machine learning is, the key part is um, statistics and math. So We'll see how to use the right miner, and also we'll use the right miner to visualize and also explore the data. And we'll talk about the regression models. So those are the simplest <laughs> models of the machine learning models. And uh, you should read the first and also second chapters of our textbook, the required one. Again, you can skip the Python part uh, if you don't like the Python. Uh, you, you can also, uh, for the second chapter, so it covered this, uh, the other parts, so you just need to read those uh, related parts, um, like the regressions, etc., in those uh, four weeks. Uh, and then we'll spend three weeks, we'll talk about some machine learning models, like the logistic regression models, and also support vector machine models. 
and also key nearest neighbors and also naive base. So those are some basic traditional machine learning models. Uh, after that, we will spend another three weeks talk about decision trees and also random forest. Uh, we will talk about neural network and we will touch the surface of the deep learning models. So we, all, we will also talk about the clustering and also principal component analysis. Uh, so those three weeks will be some powerful machine learning models. Um, and then we will spend two weeks and that we will move on to AWS. Uh, so especially we will talk about some artificial intelligence applications like natural language processing and also feature recognition. Um, so that is on AWS. So uh, artificial in intelligence are supported by those machine learning models. And then we have our Thanksgiving break. So we don't have classes. We don't have uh, virtual office. Um, after the Thanksgiving break, so you will be working on your final project. So we are, you will have two weeks. Uh, and then week 17 will be our final exam week. So we don't have a real final exam, but instead uh, you are going to present your final project and you are going to share your project with other uh, classmates. Okay, uh, so that is the syllabus.